welcome to Bar with Mary. We have a quick 10 minute bar glutes class today. So you know how much I love to work the glutes. Today's class is gonna be focused on really quickly blasting the glutes, the hamstrings. We are gonna get some inner thigh work. It's gonna be killer. So all you need for this class is a Pilates ball. If you don't have a Pilates ball, that's okay. You could absolutely grab a towel and just roll it up like a beach towel and roll it up like a burrito and you could use it very similarly. You might even wanna roll it up like a burrito and then fold it in half so it's a little bit wider. Or you could grab a couch cushion, honestly, that would also work. So whenever you have all your props, meet me on your back. I'm gonna take the ball and we're gonna it, place it rather underneath our left foot. So you're on your back, your knees are bent, your right foot is planted down into the mat and your left heel is down into the ball. Let your arms just rest to your side, take an inhale. On your exhale, relax your ribs, relax your shoulders, push your left foot into the ball and then squeeze your glutes and lift up to a low bridge. Do not worry about making this a super high bridge, okay? From there, inhale, tap your seat down to the mat. Exhale, push your left heel on the ball, lift to a low hover. Pick it up, go down, and up. It's tap, and lift. So every time you lift the seat, I want you to push your left heel down into the ball. And I'm hoping right away, you start to feel your hamstrings fire. So you're really getting into the backside of the left leg and into the midline of the left glute. So this quick class is really gonna focus more on the center of the glute. We're not gonna do any work for the outer glutes today. That is so much fun and such a good thing to do sometimes, but it's also great to just focus on midline work as well, you know? Four more, go four. Go three. Go two. Now I want you to hold the lift, push your left heel into the ball, go down and down and down. So you're pushing your left foot into the ball. As you push your left heel down, take a moment and double check that we're not arching the back and flaring the rib cage here. So your ribs are gently knitting together and softly drawing down towards the mat here. You wanna find that this work is happening in your glutes. So even though your right foot is planted on the ground, I'm hoping you feel a lot more work into your left hamstrings and your left glute. Eight more pulses, eight. Heel pushes down for six. Heel pushes down for four, three. Now hold the push down on the ball. Lift your hips up an inch, up an inch. Little pulse, little lift. So squeezing the glutes and lifting the hips just one inch higher. Then as you release the squeeze of the glutes, your hips are gonna come down. Then you re-engage, squeezing the glutes, lifting up again. It all happens pretty quickly. Continue to push your left heel down into the ball. And then double check that your face is soft, that your neck is long, and that your shoulders are heavy down into the mat. Eight more pulses here, go eight, go six, pulse it up for four, three, hold the pulse up, now roll the ball in an inch, roll it out an inch, pull it in towards your glutes, roll it out. Now I want you to continue to push your heel down into the ball as you roll it in, and out. Yeah, you got it, in, and out. Four more times, pull it in, push your heel down, roll it out. Three more times, go in, and out. Yes, two more times, go in, and out. Last one, roll it in. Now roll the ball out, and really actively drive your left heel down into the ball, feel your hamstrings engage. Relax your ribs, lift your hips up one more inch. Hold here for four, three, two. Don't drop your hips, just roll the ball up to your hands. Bring the left foot down to the floor, keeping your hips lifted, yes you can. Take the ball, slide it underneath your right foot. Lining yourself up, left foot is planted into the mat, right heel is driving into the ball, beautiful. Now from here, tap your seat down to the mat, Push into the ball, squeeze to lift. Pick it up, go, it's tap and lift. Go lower and lift. Now if at any point you don't feel like you're lined up, of course you can tap your seat down and reset yourself, okay? But now we're taking that same series with our right heel into the ball. So left foot is planted into your mat. 
right heel is driving down into the ball. Now every time you lift your seat, I want you to notice, are you arching your back? Rather than lifting your seat by arching your back, I want you to push your right heel into the ball and squeeze your glutes to lift it. Go, it's four, three, two. Now hold that hover, squeezing your glutes. Just push your right heel down into the ball. Go push and push and push. So I feel tons of heat here into the right side hamstrings. Your hamstrings are the muscles that line the back side of your thigh. They insert up into the base of your seat and they are such a crucial part of your pelvis stability as well as your knee stability. A lot of times we have a lot more strength into our quads than we do into our hamstrings. So we're kind of imbalanced in that way. Eight more presses, eight. This is a really great way to build a little bit more heat into the back of the legs. Go three, go two, hold it there. Pulse your hips up an inch, up an inch, little up, little up. So we squeeze the glutes and lift, go squeeze, go squeeze. Notice here, I just note, caught myself tensing my shoulders. Double check, shoulders are soft. Hands are resting down into the mat. Your ribs are drawing in and down. And then see if you can get your neck a little longer and your face a little softer. Eight more pulses, eight. Pushing down with the right heel with everything you have. Go four, three, two. Hold the lift, roll the right heel in an inch. Roll it out an inch. Right heel pulls into the glute and rolls away from you. Now as you roll it out, I want you to push down with even more intention. Roll it in, roll it out. You're almost done on this side. We will finish with a little bit of double leg work, and that's the end of class. We'll take a stretch, and you're out. Four more times, the right heel rolls in, and out. Three more times, go in, you've got this. And out. Two more, roll it in, press it out. The last one here goes in. Now I want you to roll it out and hold it. Drive down with your right heel. Squeeze your right glute, lift your lift hips a little bit higher. Hold here four. Three, two, roll the ball back towards you, plant your right foot, see if you can keep your hips lifted. Take the ball in between your thighs. Feet are hips distance, squeeze in on the ball, full range, tap the seat, squeeze to lift, it's tap, and lift, you've got it, down, and up. Now instead of pushing down on the ball, we're gonna squeeze in on the ball every time our hips lift. So not only, are you spiring the glutes? But we're also getting a little bit of heat into the inner thighs. Eight more times, go eight, squeeze the ball, lift. Seven, squeeze and lift. Double check, rib cage is softening down to the mat. Shoulders are soft, face is soft. Two more times, go tap and lift. Last one goes tap, now hold the lift, just squeeze the ball. Go squeeze and squeeze. Push down into your heels. And then feel your heels actively pulling back towards your glutes. So you're still engaged to the hamstrings here. The seat is at a hover. You're squeezing the glutes, keeping the low back nice and long. Eight more, go eight, go six. Squeeze the ball for four, three. Hold the squeeze, lift both heels to a hover and lower them right back down. Both heels lift to a hover and lower down now as you lift the heels, squeeze the ball. Try not to let your hips drop at all. Hips are staying lifted because you're squeezing your glutes. Four more times, it's lift and lower. You have one more variation and a final hold for this class. Two more times, lift the heels to a hover. Lower them down, now lift that low hover position with the heels, squeeze the ball, just pulse your hips up. Go a little up, little up. Now maybe you reach your arms up to the sky here, feeling the shoulders heavy down into the mat, continuing to feel your collarbones getting really wide, and your neck is nice and long here for 16, 15. Final hold for this quick class is in 12. Feel the ribs knitting in and softening down. Go eight more. You hold in six. You hold in four, three, Two, here's that hold, heels are lifted. Squeeze the ball, take a big breath in. 
On your exhale, soften your ribs, squeeze your glutes, and lift your hips up just one more inch. Hold and breathe for four. We stretch in three, pop that ball, you're here for two. Set the seat down, take the ball out, get it out of your way, hug your knees into your chest. Amazing work. Whew. Big inhale. And a big exhale. Take your hands to the tops of your knees and just gently trace circles in opposite directions. Oh, letting your hips release, letting your inner thighs open up. Just change directions, circling the other way. Big inhale, and a big exhale. Hug your knees in, rock yourself all the way up to seated. I want you to extend your legs out straight after all of that hamstring work we did. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward over the legs in whatever shape feels best for your spine. Hmm. Feel your hips reaching back and your heels reaching forward so you're really long through the backs of the legs. Of course, if it feels better for you to bend your knees a little bit, that might get you a little deeper in your hamstrings, and you should do that. Let's take three big breaths in this position. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Big breath in. Let it out. Walk yourself up to seated. Find a comfortable position with your legs. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, let it go. And that's your thoughts. Amazing work. My hamstrings are on fire. I hope yours are too. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of those wonderful things that allow me to keep doing this thing that I love to do so much. I will be back next week with a brand new Broadway class. I'll see you then. Have a great day.